Namaskar Yogi, welcome. Thank you for joining me. Tonight I'm going to be guiding you through a gentle and slow flow followed by a sweet savasana that kind of help you shift into sleep mode tonight. Um, I know personally for me sometimes it can be hard for me to unwind after a busy day. You know, the stress of a busy day can kind of linger around when we get home. And especially during a time like now with the COVID outbreak, I will admit myself, I have been struggling to readjust to a new routine uh, since we've been practicing social distancing. So if you are someone who may have been struggling with uh, readjusting to a new routine, or maybe you're falling asleep late at night, three in the morning, waking up late, your sleep schedule is off, this is a good video for you. Uh, practicing yoga before bed can really help you relax more and fall asleep easier and also stay asleep for longer. So we're going to practice a few of my favorite poses and then I will guide you through a yoga nidra body scan. So let's get started in child's pose. The best pose before bed. We're gonna send the hips back, bring the hands forward. You can either rest your chest or rest your forehead on the ground and really just nestle that belly right in between the thighs. Find a comfortable spot for yourself. And we'll begin here, gently close your eyes and take a deep breath in through the nose. Hold that breath for just a second and take a deep breath out. And now you may relax the elbows here, relax the ankles, relax your spine and allow you to really feel the tension release from your lower tailbone as we lay here in child's pose. And as you take a deep breath in, Allow yourself to really breathe in between each vertebrae, finding space in the spine, finding a little more length here. And give yourself permission for a deep release in the lower back. And continue breathing here, taking deep breaths at your own natural pace. And as you inhale, Give yourself permission to set intention for your class today. Inhale. We'll take a deep cleansing breath in through the nose and hold our breath at the top of the inhale for three, two, and one. Take a deep breath out. And as we exhale, maybe sink a little bit deeper into your child's pose here. And continue breathing at your own natural pace, taking deep breaths. And with each breath over time, allow yourself to really let go of any thoughts that don't belong here in this space with us tonight. Any worries, any fears, any thoughts, anxieties, anything that, you know, isn't really happy or giving you some good vibes before bed, just let go of all of that. And take a deep breath in, deep breath out and really release anything that no longer serves you. And continue breathing here, continue focusing on letting go of all those things that have been weighing you down uh, this week, this month, or even today. It's really important that we practice letting go of anything that's weighing us down, especially before bed, because we don't want to carry that into the next day. So give yourself permission to really let go here. And whenever you're ready, give yourself a moment of silence to set your intention for practice and for tomorrow. All right, whenever you're ready together, we'll take a deep cleansing breath in through the nose. And exhale, come to hands and knees. Tuck the knees right underneath your hips. 
And we'll meet here in tabletop position, the wrists underneath the shoulders. All ten fingers spread and the hands are squeezing the ground. And we're pushing the ground away with our shoulders instead of sinking through. And keep a neutral spine here. Maybe begin by wiggling the hips side to side, making big circles with your right hip and then with your left hip. Good, and if you'd like to here, you can also start moving your upper body as well. Maybe moving around the wrist gently. Again, maybe even gently moving the neck with it. Just finding slow movement here. Inviting movement into the body so that we can work and kind of loosening any tight joints, any tight muscles. Good, and we'll meet in neutral position here. Engage your core in. And take a deep breath in. As you exhale, drop the chin, the chest. And let your neck hang heavy here, but keep the shoulders active. And take a deep breath in from here. And as you exhale, bring your right ear to right shoulder. Just slowly roll the neck in the right direction. Deep breath in. And exhale, slowly roll the neck back to center and slowly over to the left side. So left ear comes close to the left shoulder. Deep breath in and continue here, slowly moving your neck in a half circle from one shoulder to chest to the other shoulder. And keep your eyes closed here, tune into your body, notice how you feel. Notice the tension releasing from your body. And continue moving your neck slowly from side to side. Good, now inhale, we'll take a deep breath in, keep the chin tucked, press the ground away, we're gonna come into cat pose. Squeeze the core in, tuck the tailbone, and press through the shoulders, holding here for three, two, and one, take a deep breath in. As you exhale, drop the belly below the hips, point the tailbone up, and bring the chin forward. Keeping those hands and shoulders active here in cow pose. Take a deep breath in. And round right into cat pose, squeezing the navel up. And exhale, drop the belly, point the chin, point the tailbone into cow. And again, take a breath in. Round into cat. And as you exhale, drop the belly into cow. Good, now here in your cow pose, you're welcome to find a little movement. It doesn't have to be stagnant if you don't want it to be. You can roll the hips around in a circle or you can move side to side and kind of explore how adding movement to your cow or cat pose adds, um, adds a little more of a back release here. Good, and we're gonna continue moving back and forth here in cat pose, I mean cow pose, sorry. Send the hips back slowly, and we're gonna drop forward slowly. Good, now this time, as you rock the hips back, take a deep breath in and slowly round forward. And then round back, folding our cat pose, but rounding forward gently and slowly sending the hands back. And continue here, deep breaths in. For three. Two, and one. And we're gonna continue moving here, moving slow. Bring the knees mat width apart. Send the hips back towards child's pose and bring the hands forward. 
take a deep, 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 deep breath in. And as you do so, make very, very, very tight fists with your hands. Deep breath in, hold that breath for three, two, and one. As you exhale, release the palms. And let go of anything that's still holding you down, still lingering in the body. Press the hands right into sweet mama earth here. Take a deep breath in and round forward. Bring your shoulders over the wrist, tuck the tailbone, and allow your hips to come to the ground and shine the heart through, pointing forward. Deep breath in here, coming to somewhat of upward dog with the legs nice and wide. Inhale, press the ground away. And then as you exhale, bring the hips back to child's pose. Rest that belly right in between the thighs. Drop the head down to the ground. Take a deep breath in here. Making tight fist with your hands. Hold that breath for three, two, and one. Exhale, release the palms. And press the room to sweet mama earth. Rounding forward. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, coming into upward dog here. Pressing through the shoulders, reaching back. And slowly send the hips back. This time around, we're going to keep moving. So take a deep breath and round forward, moving slow. Drop the hips to the ground. Keep that tailbone tucked. Lift the chin. Point the heart forward. Deep breath in. Exhale. Send the hips back. And one last time, moving at your own pace. your eyes closed here. Tune into the body. Notice how it feels. And we'll meet in child's pose. Okay. So slowly come out of child's pose. And make your way onto the ground, however you need or would like to get there. And we're going to begin by bringing your chest right into belly. And bring the arms out wide, palms open towards your ceiling. And relax your fingertips, relax your toes. And just keep your knees right in your chest. Gently close your eyes, take a deep breath in, and take a deep breath out. And slowly begin to rock the hips side to side, really noticing the weight distribute over from one side to the other. Keeping those eyes closed, just shifting the attention to the movement here. And noticing how good it feels to have your tailbone massaged here as well. And take a deep breath in. And begin to slowly rock the knees even further and further down. Moving slow. Until you're ready to drop the knees over to your favorite side first. Drop them over gently as you come into this deep supine twist. Take the arms out wide and then gaze in the opposite direction. Or keep your eyes closed and then wherever you are, take a deep breath in. Hold that breath in for three, two, and one. Deep breath out. And as you exhale, really allow yourself to sink even deeper into the twist. Allowing that right shoulder to sit comfortably on the ground. If you're finding a little bit of resistance in the twist, that's okay. Just allow yourself to take really deep breaths in. As you exhale, give yourself permission to really surrender to gravity. Allow it to do the work for you in this twist. Remember that we are here not to really to prove anything, but rather to explore and tune in to our bodies. 
The more you surrender here to gravity, the deeper you'll feel the twist and the more relief you'll find. Take a deep breath in as you do so slowly, bring your knees back to chest. And as you take that deep exhale, give yourself a sigh. And then drop your knees over to the opposite side. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out, sink even deeper. And another deep breath in, hold it for three, two, one, deep breath out, give yourself a sigh. Deep breath in, your knees come right back into chest. This time allow your knees to fall right outside your body. Bring your hands through, grab the soles of your feet, and then lift the heels up towards the ceiling, coming into happy baby here. And while you're here, find length in the spine. Try not to find this arch here in your neck. Relax the head down, relax your shoulder blades on the ground. Keep the tailbone tucked and the lower core engaged. And as you pull down with your hands, open up the hips and take a deep breath in. As you exhale, breathe right into the hips. Relax your core and relax the tailbone. Continue taking deep breaths here. And if you like, you can find a little bit of movement here in your happy baby, doing whatever you need. Be comfortable. Maybe even extend one leg and then the other. And one more time, let's take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Good, slowly bring your heels back down. The knees will come back to chest, bring the arms out wide. And now we're gonna work on extending our legs. So take a deep breath in, press the legs together. And as you exhale, extend them to the sky, pressing them nice and tightly together. Toes pointed up towards the ceiling so that you feel a slight stretch at the top of your foot. And do your best to flex through the quads. And allow your legs come as straight as they can, but if you have tight hamstrings and you have a deep bend in your knees, that's absolutely okay. Just do what's comfortable for you. Keep your legs pressed together though. And take a deep breath in here. As you exhale, flex the toes. Inhale, point. Exhale, flex. Good, and maybe even give your, give your toes a little bit of a wiggle here. Gazing right at your feet. Roll the ankles out in a circle. Moving in one direction first and then the other. Good, deep breath in here. Stay if you're comfortable. If you want to take it a little bit further and find an even deeper stretch, reach for your toes with your fingertips and pull your legs in. So your tailbone slightly lifts off the ground and your shoulder blades do as well. Keep the legs pressed together. Keep your gaze towards the toes or you can keep your chin down. Whatever feels comfortable for you and take a deep breath in here. And exhale, slowly release. We'll bring one hand to chest, one to belly, and the feet will come flat to the floor. Point the knees up towards your ceiling. And take a deep breath in here to the chest and to the belly. And a deep breath out. 
giving yourself a moment to come back to the breath here and come back to the intention you set at the beginning of class and remind yourself why you're practicing today. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Good, and press the hands right into sweet mama earth. Tuck your shoulders underneath you. Take a deep breath in, press those heels into the ground, and when you're ready, lift the hips up into bridge. Just a gentle bridge. Don't force anything, just gently lift up for three, two, and one. Slowly bring the hips down, rolling the vertebrae back onto your mat one at a time, moving slowly. And once your hips touch the floor, take a deep breath in. And lift as you exhale. Slowly bring the hips back down. And again, two more times at your own pace. And maybe on this last one, if you want to take it a further, a little bit further, you can come up onto the toes, lifting the heels off the ground, and take a deep breath in. Beautiful. Roll the knees right, or bring the knees right back into chest. Grab the back of your knees, take a deep breath in, and pull the knees in towards your chest even more. And slowly lift the chin up, holding here for three, two, one. Deep breath in, deep breath out, exhale. Hands come down to the ground. Let the legs go long. And while you're here, take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Good, relax that tailbone here. And then we're just gonna reach over our heads with our hands, finding length in the body here. Try to stretch yourself out. And keep reaching with your hands even higher, reaching down with your toes here for three. Deep breath in. Two, take another breath in. And one, deep breath out. Relax your body, let the elbows relax. Let your shoulder blades relax, your knees, your ankles, tailbone, everything. And we're gonna do that again. So. Take a deep breath in, reach up with the hands, down with the toes. Hold that breath, and then again, deep breath in even more. Reaching up higher, and deep breath out. Relax the body. Good, and we'll do that one more time. This time, take a breath, half a breath in. And reach a little higher, take another half in. Good, hold your breath here for three, two, one, exhale, relax your body. Good, and keep the hands overhead, relax your elbows, your shoulder blades, ankles, everything. Keep your eyes closed here. Give yourself a moment to return to the intention you set at the beginning of class. And when you're ready, together we'll take three deep cleansing breaths in. And with each descending breath, allow yourself to sink deeper and deeper into your mat. Allow your body to become heavier. Allow your mind to really let go of any thoughts that don't belong. If you'd like here as well, you can bring your hands down by your sides, whatever's most comfortable for you. Or you may bring one hand to chest and one to belly. And together we'll take a deep breath in. Hold that breath at the top of the inhale for three, two, and one. Deep breath out. Turn to natural breath here. Begin to notice the sound of your breath. 
your wings so your breath where your breath travels and allow it to really relax you in your green line going red or not really paying attention to any thoughts that are coming through that don't concern your breath take your attention to your breath let it anchor you For the second time, we'll take a deep cleansing breath in. Hold that breath at the top of the inhale for three, two, and one. Deep breath out. And begin to notice how relaxed the body has become. Maybe it's been on a while since you've wiggled the toe or moved any inch of your body besides your chest and your belly. Notice how calm and tranquil you're starting to feel. And imagine yourself rooting yourself into your mat. Becoming grounded and one with your mat. Take a deep cleansing breath in. Hold that breath at the top of the inhale for three, two, one. Deep breath out. Your mind and body are now completely relaxed. Continue laying here with your eyes closed, shifting your attention to your breath and simply noticing your body and how it feels. Naturally, your mind may wander, that's okay. Allow it to wander as it will. Don't punish yourself if it does. Simply notice your thoughts as they come and go, trying your best not to judge them. But rather noticing your thoughts, being the observer of your own thoughts. And never hanging on to them for too long. As they come, notice them and observe and let them go. Inhale, hold your breath for just a second, and exhale. And again, inhale, hold your breath, and exhale. Wherever your mind has traveled, slowly bring back the present moment when we're ready. Bring your hands by your sides, open up the palms. And begin to feel a deep wave of relaxation really consuming your body as you become more and more relaxed as you sink deeper and deeper down. Begin to really notice every inch of your body. Begin with your hairline and your ears your nose, your jaw. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, really do your best to relax all the muscles in your face. Relax your lips and your jaws. Relax your cheekbones. Feel your muscles just really decompressing. Now begin to relax your shoulders. Relax your hands, relax your fingers. Let them be cur let the fingers be curled if they want to be. 
relax your breath. Don't worry about taking deep breaths in if you don't want to or don't want to. Just breathe naturally however is comfortable for you. Relax your tailbone, relax your hips. Really relax your knees. And relax your ankles and your toes. Notice your body becoming more and more relaxed over time. With each breath that you take, you are sinking deeper and deeper. Your body is feeling heavier and heavier. Take a deep breath in. Keep in mind that it is the body relaxing. And as you exhale, give yourself a big smile. begin to draw your attention to all the things that really feed your soul, anything that makes you happy, anything that you'd like to extend your gratitude towards, give yourself a moment to really shift your attention to that right now. Allow yourself to feel all sorts of good vibes and love and gratitude and kindness, anything. And take a deep breath in. Deep breath out, continue smiling to yourself. If it feels weird, that's okay. Let it feel weird. And just allow yourself to really be grateful for having this moment here tonight to yourself to really unwind and tune into your body. Extend gratitude to yourself for giving yourself this time to just slow down and be present. And slowly begin to wiggle your fingers. And take a deep breath in as you inhale, make a tight, tight fist. And deep breath out, open up your palms. And give your, your toes a wiggle. And take a deep breath in, point the toes. And exhale, flex your toes. Good, press the hands into the ground slowly. Begin to bring one knee in the chest and then the other. And wrap your hands around your knees. And slowly rock side to side. And when you're ready, take a deep breath in. And roll over onto your favorite side, using your arms as a pillow. Slowly raising up the body. And when you're ready, press your hands right into the ground, push yourself up slowly. And we'll meet in a seated position here. With your hands resting right on your knees, palms open. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out. Drop your right ear, your right shoulder. Drop your chin to chest. Slowly roll your left ear, left shoulder. And come right back around to the half circle. Yeah. And slowly stack your neck. Take a deep breath in here. Deep breath out. Inhale, raise your hands up overhead. 
Exhale, press the hands together, bow down forward. Check your chin to chest here. And take a moment here to return to any intention you may have set at the beginning of class. And give yourself a moment to kind of reflect on your practice. Notice how you feel now versus how you felt at the beginning of, of class. And continue taking deep breaths in and out. With each breath in and out, sinking even deeper into your fold. Now you can stay here for as long as you like, Yogi, or call it a night. Either way, thank you for practicing with me today. Namaste.